as you allow yourself to drift to the calming, centering state of hypnosis, resting the body in a comfortable position, preferably with the body laying down and the spine straight, unrestricted flow of breath allowing you to breathe in deeply and as you breathe in ever so deeply waves of oxygen are released into the bloodstream the cells bringing new life health and well-being and as it does you find yourself connecting to the very source of energy at the base of the spine, a golden serpent of light representing the divine feminine that has been coiled up for eons. And this repressed energy has been calling to you to awaken, to rise, to allow you to break free of the painful shackles of patriarchy, male oppression, wounded masculinity that has caused you to see yourself in a way that is the wounded feminine, seeking men's approval, validation, and feeling that your worth is intricately connected to how a man perceives you in relationship, how he relates to you, being fearful of conflict, of being criticized and hurt by a male figure, by a figure of authority, because you unconsciously took in the belief system that this is a man's world and that a woman must take her place in this world and make herself amendable to men. And you've also, in other ways, taken on the wounded masculine within your own body, mind, and emotions, where a particular persona would overwork, exhaust you, because it was believed that your worth depended on achievement, on being busy. But these shackles are now around your ankles, weighing you down as you see yourself standing in the basement of a very dark building. And in this basement, you feel alone, fearful, frail, lacking energy, confidence. And you understand that this basement represents the wounded masculine. And you see that there is limited resources here. Food, water, and only the smallest amount of light. But you cling to these resources. You cling to this need to survive. And you see each day that this wounded masculine figure comes down to sit with you, to talk to you, to scold you, to coerce you. And you are constantly trying to have their approval, to be good enough, to be worthy to be whole, to be complete. And as you experience these limiting conditions, this painful, heartbreaking existence that you have called your life, it starts to become unbearable to you to live in this state of oppression, guilt, and shame to live under the darkness of wounded patriarchal energy. And this opening at the base of your spine, this energetic awakening of the feminine is beginning to swirl, to move in ever.
of、uh, expanding circles of light, energizing the base of the spine, energizing the subtle energy centers. And as it does, it begins to move up your spine. Moving into the center of safety, security, feeling safe in your environment, feeling that you can care for yourself biologically, financially, and emotionally. You feel grounded, safe, secure. And as you experience this grounding in the very source of reality, Recognizing that the source of reality is you, this energy moves up another level. Moving into the center of sexuality, procreation. And this energy continues to move up in the center of sexuality, releasing old wounds of feeling ashamed of sexual energy. Connection, intimacy, and opening oneself up to the incredible representation, both energetically and symbolically, of the divine feminine, the void, the emptiness of existence. And this energy is released and opened, connecting you dynamically to the very source of the universe, creation. And this energy continues to swirl up in ever increasing circles of gold and light, increasing as it moves up every energy center into the solar plexus, blazing open in bright, fiery light. The center of inner stability, confidence, creativity in your mind, in your life, in your relationships, opening up to the display of awareness. Natural creativity, art, music, learning. The call to the divine feminine are opening and healing the wounds of repressed creativity, repressed intuition, opening, releasing. And this energy continues to move upward and outward toward the center of the heart, breaking open wounds of. Anger, sadness, fears of abandonment and loss, fears of being criticized, unheard, unwanted, unworthy, are released by this pure, beautiful, loving, unconditional love of the divine feminine, breaking open these limitations, filling you with unconditional love, acceptance, knowingness of your nature. Giving you a rebirth into your true and most beautiful heart, opening your heart to receiving and giving love in all relationships and all forms, giving you intimacy with all of creation. The heart is open. And as this energy moves up into the throat, it breaks open fears of communicating, fears of being criticized, unheard. Fears of being shut down by the masculine, by aggression, by being harsh in speech. These are released. And the softness, the wisdom, the clarity of the divine feminine as a bridge to all things, all people, and to loving relationship opens in the way you speak. And this energy moves up into the very crown of the head, crowning you. In the very source of all creation, crowning you with wisdom and compassion, with the deep inner knowing of yourself, as everything moves into the very crown of your head, and you see this projection of this basement, of this oppression, of this destitution, of this fear collapse, and bright white light completely encompasses you. And the projection of you dissolves, and all that remains is pure blissful awareness. And in this blissful state of recognition, where all appearances are known as inseparable of our awareness, you find awareness becoming brighter, clearer, luminescent, 
filled with love and bliss as this experience extends infinitely in all directions, encompassing every aspect of every universe in itself, expanding more and more greatly, openly as a divine feminine touches every aspect of creation and every aspect of creation absorbs into the divine feminine. And there is freedom, there's love, there's knowingness, heightened intuition, alignment. And as this happens, you see lights begin to dance around in this open field of awareness. And these lights are recognized as the natural display of awareness. And as this natural display continues, you see one light begin to slow down and stop moving. And awareness recognizes the light and merges. And as it merges, this absorption goes into an even more blissful state of recognition. Absorbing more and more deeply into awareness. And as this lucidity, this recognition, this realization of your nature expands, allowing yourself as awareness to drift away into a lucid dreamless sleep.